Hello, welcome. Today, I'm dyeing my hair grey. Yes, that's right. I'm dyeing my hair. Again. Ruining my hair. Again. <laughs> I've reached that point. It's been a long, hard lockdown. <laughs> I've lost my mind. Slightly. I had a slight hair disaster. I tried a purple toner on my blonde hair and instead of reducing the brassy tones, it turned my hair grey. Schwarzkopf, blonde toner, slight problem. My hair is purple, grey, greyish purple. I didn't even leave it in for very long. The thing said like leave it for five to ten minutes or whatever. Maybe I left it for five, like at most. I don't know what to do. You guys might remember I have this. This color is called metallic ash. It's a greyish purple. Maybe because my hair is like grey, greyish purple, maybe I should dye it with this? And now it is 12.48 in the morning. I'm this far through a bottle of red wine. My husband is sound asleep and I thought, now's the time. What's that on your face? I hear you ask. What, what's that on your nose? Oh, this, this is a piece of tape. Why is there a piece of tape on my nose? Because I've had two nose jobs. Both of them failed. Problems. Lots of problems. <laughs> this is what keeps me going. No, no, I'm very sorry. I'm not promoting drinking as a form of escapism because you're very sad that you're nose looks awful and you can't breathe and you may need a third and fourth surgery. <laughs> Don't drink. No, but really, I'm, I'm actually, I'm okay. I'm not that drunk. Every time I drink on camera, my mum sends me a very concerned message in the morning and she's like, Alex, what are you doing? Why are you drinking? You need to stop. I don't do this every night. Just like once in a while, I have one or two many glasses and I'm like, oh, I'm having fun. I'm forgetting about all the things that make me sad on a daily basis and I'm having fun. That's what this is, it's fun. Let's dye my hair purple. Grey. Greyish purple. So here's my hair as it is right now. This is after using the Schwarzkopf Blonde Toner that turned it from blonde to a little bit blondy green to greyish purple. I have terrible regrowth, as you can see. This is because we are in a state of lockdown and you can only leave your house for groceries and medical care. Hair salons do not count. For those of you leaving comments saying, girl, your regrowth is nasty, go get it fixed. I can't. You have to put up with this. I'm very sorry if it offends you. You have to put up with the regrowth, but we're gonna go over the top of the greyish greeny blonde with Hello Bubble from YesStyle. Hello Bubble is the name of the hair dye kit. I believe that this range of colors is represented by Blackpink, the K-pop girl group. So this is a Blackpink member on the front here and she really rocks this hair color. I don't know if I'm going to rock it so well. I have a more warm skin tone. I believe that these sort of cool tones look nicer on cooler skin tones. I have a warm skin tone. I'm a natural redhead, so warmer tones seem to complement my complexion better. But in the name of having fun, I'm dyeing my hair colours that may not necessarily suit me. See, this is what happens when you have strict parents and you're not allowed to dye your hair as a teenager or even into your early 20s. Your mum still says, no, you're not allowed to dye your hair and you say, okay, yes, mum, but I'm 28 now. I turned 28 last week. You can no longer tell me I'm not allowed to dye my hair grey. <laughs> and also you can no longer tell me that I'm not allowed to cut my own hair. You know what? As a matter of fact, I turned 28 a couple of days ago and that means that I'm old enough to do this. I'm sorry, mum. Don't get mad. You're going to get mad, I know. But I'm 28 now. I can do this if I want to. <laughs> Yes, I did that. Uh, I did indeed. But also, you, you wouldn't know. There's enough hair there to cover the mistakes. That's the most rebellious thing I've done in my entire life. Can you tell that in real life I am lawful good? Although now that I'm 28, perhaps I am chaotic neutral. Anyway, point being, <laughs> I'm an adult and I can do what I want with my own hair and I'm going to dye it grey. So, Metallic Ash by Hello Bubble. That's the 10th time I've said that. Luckily, the instructions are both in English and Korean. So, put on the gloves, open solution two, add all of solution one and solution three, 
close the cap tightly with the pump. Gently shake the bottle about 20 times in circular motion until the content is mixed well. Place the container on a flat surface and dispense three to four pumps by pressing the pump with the palm of your hand. Apply and work the foam on dry hair from the crown of your head to the tips. Thoroughly apply the foam all over the hair by lifting the hair in the back. Gently work the hair as if shampooing until absorbed. Sweet home Alabama all summer long. Stop believing. Send no more counting dollars. Will we? Will be counting stars. You know what? Can I just say this? The reason that I love this brand of hair dye, Hello Bubble. It's because it's a foam hair dye. I find that when you use the regular hair dye, whether it's in a sachet or in a bottle, I need to use three or four lots of the product to cover my head of hair. But this Hello Bubble product, because it's a foaming one, when you, you know, mix up the solution, one single bottle gives you so much product that you, you literally, I don't even know what to do with all of this. Like, it's the only time that I will ever have so much product that my whole head is completely covered in product and there is still a lot of product left in the bottle. It says, caution, the mixed solution must be prepared immediately before coloring hair. Since mixing induces gaseous reaction or explosion, the solution must be used within one hour of mixing. After one hour, explosion. It's been quite a while since I've had dark hair. I've had platinum blonde and I've had blonde and then I've had brassy blonde and I've had what do you call this? I've had this for quite some time so it's very unusual to see myself with dark hair. I did think that this was going to be grey. Uh, metallic ash. I thought it was going to lean more toward grey than purple but obviously because I've put it on top of blonde hair it does look definitely more purple but you know what standing here right now looking at myself with with this part of me wants to live out my 2008 emo fantasy of dyeing my hair black I wasn't allowed to Mom, can I dye my hair black? No. Can I dye it brown? No. Can I dye it blonde? No. Can I dye it pink? No. Can I do anything at all to my hair? No. All I wanted in this world was to dye my hair black and have one of those like raccoon striped fringes. Thank you, Mom, for not letting me do that. Thank you for not letting me do the raccoon stripe because I feel like Facebook would pop up and be like, here's your memories from 10 years ago today. And I'd be like, Ugh, cringe. But also to be fair, I do that anyway. <laughs> and I never dyed my hair once. But all I wanted in this world was black hair and I wasn't allowed to have it. So putting this dye in and seeing my hair quite dark like this, part of me is like, yeah, I'm almost 30. I could dye my hair black if I want to. Mum has no say in the matter. But also I am watching Blind Spot. We just started. I've never heard of the show before. And Dan and I were sitting down and we were browsing through Netflix and we were like, what should we watch? And then Dan was like, oh, Blind Spot. Apparently that's meant to be good. And we started watching it. And I was like, isn't she the girl from Thor? Turns out, yes, that is the shield maiden from Thor. And she has black hair and she's glorious. And seeing her with like a short black bob makes me be like, I want this. I want to be covered in tattoos with a short black bob. And then the other part of me is like, but mum will get angry. And then the other part of me is like, but you're almost 30. It doesn't matter if mum gets angry. <laughs> but then the other part of me is like, but I love my mum. I don't want her to be angry. So I guess for now we settle with purpley grey. <laughs> so once I've waited 30 minutes, it says shampoo with lukewarm water until the water becomes clear. And then it says blow drying colored hair on the first day can help preserve the color longer. So I will catch you guys in 30 minutes. Look at this. I need to fix this before it stains for good. All right, activate beauty guru mode because I've got this free sample of, this is called pharmacy. Green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm. And I'm gonna try to use this to remove the violet Beauregard blueberry staining on my head. Oh, look, 
Oh, it's so pretty. It smells clean. That's the only word I can use to describe it. There's no real scent, it's just clean. So maybe if I do this. All right, well, there is still a fair bit of purple coming off on the towel, but it hasn't stained my forehead. Excellent. Well, that product actually really helped. It really, really helped. Wow. I've tried to remove hair dye from my forehead in the past just using soap and water. That worked a lot better. <laughs> You'd never know. They'll know. How would they know? They'll never know. I'm really hungry. I don't want to wake Daniel up. I'm eating cold chicken, sitting on the floor, drinking red wine, and you might feel sorry for me. You might think this is sad, but I'm living my best life. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Oh no no no. Let go. Oh shit. And if I was 17 or 18, this would be very normal behavior. At least where I grew up, it would be. As I understand it, the legal drinking age in America is 21, which is crazy to me because they'll send you off to war, but they won't let you have a beer. Legal drinking age in Australia is 18. It was 2 a.m. and I'm 28. So 10 years ago today, at 2 a.m., this is exactly how I would have been acting. I just realized it's 3 a.m. I've had this hair dye on for an hour. It was supposed to be 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, but I've been sitting here in front of the heater looking at plants on Instagram. Thanks, Plantarina. This is your fault. Uh, I probably should have thought this through better because it's 3 a.m. now and I need to have a shower or I need to somehow wash my hair and I don't want to wake up my husband. So I either have to wash my head in the sink or I have to sleep with the dye in. All right, well, good thing that our bedroom is on the complete opposite side of the house to the room that I film in because it's about to get loud. Oh, 
All right, I'm going to send Dan a message and I'm going to ask him, hey, hon, please take a video of me when you wake up in the morning. Alex, I don't mean to alarm you, but someone's dyed your hair in the middle of the night. <laughs> So, behold my hair. I hate it. <laughs> I mean, look, no nothing against purple hair. I have had purple hair before. Uh, it's just because I was expecting more of a grey colour. I think that's why I hate it so much. Because if I wanted purple hair, just, just purple. If the title of this video was going to be I dyed my hair purple, I guess I'd be happy. But metallic ash. I would say it's 0% Ash and 95% Gengar. For the sake of this video and for the sake of reviewing the product, I'm going to wash my hair. So this was obviously just the product in, washed out. Hasn't been shampooed since, nothing like that. So I'm going to go have a shower now. I'm going to wash it, see if the colour changes at all. I might do that three or four times today so that by the end of the day I can show you just how much it's faded. The other thing that I'm going to do, just to spice up the video a little bit, give you guys a little bit of um, extra content, a little additional bonus that you didn't ask for, I'm going to shampoo one side of my head with Head & Shoulders. Uh, head & Shoulders is the sort of shampoo conditioner combo that people recommend when you're trying to strip the colour out of your hair. The other side, I'm going to use a colour preserving shampoo. I've got my shampoo from Function of Beauty. I did a sponsorship with them ages ago. When I picked the formula, I picked one that was, you know, to preserve colour. So I'll probably do that on one side, head and shoulders on the other. And if I do that three or four times today, I'm very interested to see if one side turns out lighter or darker than the other. So off to the shower we go. Oh wait, hang on. No, no, let me just got to do this first, don't I? Here's the before the first wash. There we go. All right, off to the shower. It's shower time, come on, grab your bird. Did you know that bird's the word? With Archie boy, the lovely birdie, fun will never end, it's shower time. Do you want to shower? Look at your dirty feet. Your dirty feet are covered in capsicum. You want to shower? <gasps> Whoa! Are you ready? Ooh, wow. yeah, yeah, look, you go down here. Down you go. No, no, I can't help you. No, you have to shower yourself. Down you go. Um, I swear I'm coming. I'm, I'm going to join you. Okay, all right. Okay, he, he's refusing to have the shower until I get in too. <laughs> what? shampooed twice in the one shower and uh, you know what I actually it's not dry yet obviously but I like it so much more now I'll tell you what with it wet I don't know if it's coming across on camera but the side that I use the head and shoulders versus the function of beauty there's a huge difference at least right now not sure if you'll be able to tell but just take my word for it there is so going to blow dry it now and if anyone watched my um, going platinum blonde hair video 
I let the hairdresser talk me into buying this very expensive salon set of products by Kerastase. Uh, I've finished the shampoo now. I used it for, it lasted me like three months. Uh, I did really like it. And there was a big difference between the Kerastase and the Function of Beauty shampoo, just the way that it sort of coated my hair. It has some sort of, uh, I don't know, silicon or something. I, I know nothing about products, but the, the Kerastase had something in it that like coated my hair and made it very soft, but it is also a lot more expensive than Function of Beauty. Uh, I'm still going with the conditioner. The conditioner's lasted me a long time and I really like that. And there's also this product that I use very rarely because I very, very, very rarely bother to blow dry my hair. But this one is the like heat activated blow dry care for damaged hair. So this is what I'm gonna be using on my hair now as I'm blow drying it. And again, I notice a big difference when I use this when I blow dry my hair versus when I don't use it. There's been a few times when I've blow dried my hair without it and I'm, I'm like, oh. That was a bad idea. Like I actually can tell that there's a difference. So I guess my brief review of the Keras Days products, if anyone's been interested in that journey, I do really like them. I, I really, really like them, but they were so expensive. So I've got a video coming up where I'm trying hair products that are supposed to save my hair, but they're budget friendly. So keep an eye out for that. But uh, anyway, Let's blow dry this and I hope that there isn't that much of a difference between this side and this side. I hope it doesn't look weird because I'm about to film a closet clean out video that's going up tomorrow. I'm going to be listing some clothes on Depop. People have been asking me for a very long time to sell stuff on Depop. So I'm going to be putting that up tomorrow and I really hope that my hair doesn't look too weird in that video because people are going to be like, wow, your hair dye job is so uneven. <laughs> okay, let's get to blow drying. You know what's interesting? Look at the way my hair is sitting between the uh, Function of Beauty side and the head and shoulders side. I've brushed these both the same, but the head and shoulders side is kind of like more puffy, but the Function of Beauty side is actually more smooth and it's sitting more flat. I blow dried it the same way too. Also, thank you to everyone that told me about the whole blow drying downwards thing. It never occurred to me, but you know, I used to just kind of do this when I was blow drying my hair, but people were like, put, put the dryer at the top and blow dry downwards. That made a very big difference. Thank you. Uh, it, it probably seems obvious to do so, but I never thought of it. I don't know if it comes across on camera, but the two sides are quite different. This side is definitely significantly lighter. So good on you, Function of Beauty. I'm about to film this whole series of wardrobe clearouts. The first one is gonna go up on the channel tomorrow, so come back tomorrow. I'm gonna to go film that video. Then I'm going to wash my hair two more times and then blow dry it again, and then conclude this video tonight, upload it tonight, and then upload the wardrobe clear out tomorrow. So I've got a little bit of filming to do today. So I'll check back with you after I filmed the wardrobe clear out. But, oh, hang on, wait, gotta do this. Here is the hair after the first two lots of shampoo. And here it is after being washed six times in total. So yes, I, I did in fact shampoo my hair four times in a row. I know that um, shampooing your hair six times in one day is definitely not good for it, but neither is mixing together 16 pink hair dyes and dyeing your hair with it, but nothing stopped me from doing that. After a very deep condition, here is my hair. And you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy now. I was happy actually after the fourth wash. It was interesting while I was in the shower and washing it all out. The third wash, this side, the head and shoulders side, lightened up a lot more and the Function of Beauty side stayed more true to colour. Then the fourth time shampooing, this one lightened up again and this one was still holding pretty strong. Then when I got to the fifth and the sixth shampoo, they sort of started to even out a little bit. This one you can tell is definitely still darker. And uh, my plan is actually to continue shampooing this side. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it in this video because I'm going to be posting this today. But I think it would actually look really cool to have purple and then like a silvery kind of colour, which is what I suspect that this is going to continue to wash out to. I think given how easily the colour has been washing out, 
I do think that this color will basically completely wash away. I know some colors they, they don't budge. I've used purple products in the past that have turned my hair green once they've washed out completely, but I've got a good feeling about this one. I think that if I continue shampooing this side with head and shoulders and I strip the color away a little bit more, I think it's gonna leave a silvery, ashy kind of color. Maybe it might even look a little bit more white. And if I can sort of get this back to a nice neutral base, I could then dye this side pink and then have half purple, half pink. Or I could even do blue, could do half blue, half purple. The possibilities are potentially endless if the color does wash out, but I think that it will. So I do actually really like the color that the head and shoulder side is washing out to. I think that's a really pretty shade of purple. And I've used a few different purples now, and this is probably one of my favorites, I would say, because it does have that more sort of silvery tone to it. I'm finally seeing the metallic ash part of this color. This side that's holding a bit better, Function of Beauty, this is a nice purple as well, but if I ever did use this product in the future, I don't think I'd use a color stay shampoo. I think that I would just happily have the extreme purple for a day or two and then sort of wash it down to something more like this. And then, then I would come along once I've got the color the way that I like it. Then I'd come along with my color preserving shampoo to try and keep it something like this shade. You know, when I filmed my Depop video, it looked in some lights like I had an ombre going on. It kind of looked like the tips of my hair were lighter than the top. And I think that would be so pretty to go from like a deep purple to a lilac to silver. Oh, I really want to try and do something like that. Uh, I do have another box of Hello Bubble. It's not metallic ash. It's called lilac, lilac ash or something. It's like a, it's another very, very similar grayish purple color. So I may use that if I'm going to try and do something where it's like purple down to gray as an ombre. But anyway, that's it for now. I hope that you guys liked this video. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really glad that things went better than expected. I'm glad that uh, the purple is uh, easy to get under control. It was very vibrant and I really didn't like it. But now, now that it's had a bit of a condition, there's a little bit of a wave to it, the color has lightened up. I actually really, really genuinely like it. So like I said, over the next couple of days, I'm gonna try to shampoo this side down a little bit more. So after my Depop video goes up, probably the next couple of videos that you see after that, my hair will continue to change on this side. <laughs> so keep an eye out if you're interested to see how this all sort of develops. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!